we have seen that any n degree polynomials can have at most n zeros. Suppose you are given a cubic polynomial and told it has three zeros. Additionally, you have been given one of the zeros. Can you find the other two? For this, let us consider the cubic polynomial x cubed minus 2 times x squared minus 5x plus 6. If you are told that one of its zeros is 1, then you say that x minus 1 is a factor of x cubed minus 2 times x squared minus 5x plus 6. Therefore, you will divide x cubed minus 2 times x squared minus 5x plus 6 by x minus 1, which you have learnt in your previous grade, to get the quotient x squared minus x minus 6. Next, you could get the factors of x squared minus x minus 6, by splitting the middle term, as, x plus 2, times, x minus 3. So, you get the factorization as, x minus 1, times, x plus 2 times, x minus 3. This means that the three zeros are 1, minus 2 and 3. Here, it was very easy to get the result as there was no remainder. But, in general we can have in cases where the division leaves remainder. So, there should be a step-by-step -step procedure for division in general. So, before defining the division of polynomials formally in detail, let us see through an example, what happens when we divide a polynomial by another? Divide 2x squared plus 5x plus 4 by x plus 1. Before starting the division process, we should always make sure to express the dividend polynomial and the divisor polynomial in decreasing powers of x. We start by writing the dividend polynomial, within the division symbol, followed by writing a divisor polynomial, just left of it. We then proceed by finding a multiplier or quotient at each step, that will make the highest power of divisor, same as that of the dividend polynomials with coefficient, so that we can then subtract to cancel the highest powers. With the result of the subtraction, we again proceed with finding a multiplier that would cancel out the result of the previous step. Here it is important to note, just as in normal long division method of numbers, where we stop dividing when the remainder reaches zero or is less than the divisor, in a similar fashion, we have to stop the division process of polynomials, as the remainder reaches zero, or has a degree that is less than the degree of the divisor polynomial. In this example, we first multiply the divisor x plus 1 with 2x, to obtain the result 2x squared plus 2x for subtraction from the dividend polynomial 2x squared plus 5x plus 4 to get the result 3x plus 4. Again, multiplying x plus 1 with plus 3, we get 3x plus 3 for subtraction from the previous step result. This leaves a remainder 1. Now, since we have a remainder that has a degree less than that of the divisor, we end our division process. The final quotient is 2x plus 3, and remainder is 1. So, we can write. The dividend 2x squared plus 5x plus 4 is equal to divisor x plus 1 times quotient 2x plus 3 plus remainder 1. In our current case we divided a quadratic polynomial with a linear polynomial. Let us now see another example, where we will divide a higher degree polynomial with a quadratic polynomial. Divide 3x cubed minus 7x squared plus 5x plus 6 by 2 minus 3x plus x squared. Before starting the division process, we should always make sure to express the dividend polynomial and the divisor polynomial in decreasing powers of x. Here the dividend is already expressed in standard order but the divisor has to be rewritten as x squared minus 3x plus 2. We start by writing the dividend polynomial, within the division symbol, followed by writing a divisor polynomial, just left of it. In this example, we first multiply the divisor x squared minus 3x plus 2 with 3x, to obtain the result 3x cubed minus 9x squared plus 6x for subtraction from the dividend polynomial 3x cubed minus 7x squared plus 5x plus 6 to get the result 2x squared minus x plus 6. Again, multiplying x squared minus 3x plus 2 with plus 2 we get 2x squared minus 6x plus 4 for subtraction from the previous step result. This leaves a remainder 5x plus 2. Now, since we have a remainder that has a degree less than that of the divisor, we end our division process. In this example, 
the final quotient is 3x plus 2, and remainder is 5x plus 2. So, we can write. The dividend 3x cubed minus 7x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to divisor x squared minus 3x plus 2 times quotient 3x plus 2 plus remainder 5x plus 2.